Welcome to our channel guys. Today we are going to dive into the exciting development in India's defense sector. The first news coming from the Indian government has revised its approach to the manufacturing of multi-role fighter aircraft program requiring full-scale manufacturing of fighter jets within the country. To comply with this mandate, vendors must establish manufacturing units in India, transferring technologies and form joint ventures with local partners. This 23 billion contract sets high expectations for foreign manufacturers competing for the deal. This policy aligns with the government Aat Nirbhar Bharat initiative aiming for self-reliance in the defense sector by developing a robust domestic aerospace industry. This has several impacts on the defense sector. The first is that by mandating full domestic production, India reduces its dependency on foreign customers, strengthening its strategic independence and enhancing its defense production capabilities. This move is expected to significantly benefit local defense manufacturers, creating jobs, opportunities and fostering innovation in the aerospace sector. But this task is not easy as it seems because there are some of the challenges that we have to face. With stricter requirements in place, the procurement process may face delays, building and upgrading manufacturing facilities to meet high standards of production will require significant effort and investment. In our next segment, we'll discuss potential delays in the LCA Tejas MK1A program due to issues with the F404 engine supply. Delay in the F404 engine supply from GE Aerospace could push back from Tejas MK1A deliveries by 10 to 12 months. This is particularly concerning as the Tejas MK1A is specifically designed for the F404 engine. Currently, there are no viable alternatives to the F404 engine. The indigenous Kaveri engine is still 5 to 6 years away from production and the RD33 engine is no longer a feasible option. The delay in engine supply could push back the production of Tejas MK1A aircraft affecting the IAF's capability to bluster its fighter squadrons and maintain operational readiness. This situation underscores the vulnerability of relying on foreign suppliers for critical components and urgent need to develop indigenous alternatives. But there are some of the upcoming challenges and that are effective coordination with GE Aerospace will be the key to overcome these challenges. Accelerating the development of the Kaveri engine and other indigenous alternatives is essential to reduce future dependencies and enhance self-reliance. Next, we discuss a significant move towards inter-service cooperation with the joint procurement of explosive vans by the Indian Armed Forces. The Indian Army is leading a joint procurement initiative to acquire specialized explosive weapons for the Army, Navy and Air Force. This move aims to improve safety in the ammunition transportation across all services. The joint procurement initiative reduces inventory, optimizes repair infrastructure and requires less storage space, leading to a more efficient supply chain. By introducing this explosive van, we can standardize the equipment across the services, enhances interoperability while improve safety measures, protect personnel and assets. The joint procurement approach reduces redundancy, optimizes resource use and enhances coordination among different branch of the armed forces. But the timely procurement and deployment of the new vehicles along with the effective coordination among the different branches of the armed forces will be crucial. Our next story focuses on India's strides towards self-reliance in advanced fighter jet technology with a new project on afterburners. Funded by the Aeronautical Research and Development Board, this project is crucial for the indigenously developed advanced medium combat aircraft. Afterburners enhance the power and maneuverability of fighter jets, making them vital for high-speed maneuvers and combat situations. Mastering afterburner technology will significantly enhance the performance of India's next-gen fighter jets, boosting the country's aerospace capabilities. But there are some of 
challenges that we have to face in the future. Developing afterburners involves overcoming significant technical challenges requiring precise engineering and extensive testing. Ensuring adequate funding and resources for the project is crucial to its success. In our next story, we highlight the recent deal for Cockrail 3105 turret which will equip India's Sorawar light tank. India has signed a deal with John Cockrail Defense to supply 105 mm turrets for the Zorawar light tank. These turrets will bring advanced firepower and versatility to the platform. The new turret significantly boosts the combat capabilities of Zorawar light tank, offering better performance in urban and close quarter combat situations. The turret's cutting edge system improves targeting accuracy, operational efficiency, and crew protection. The reliable and efficient weapon system ensures sustained firepower, improving the army's combat readiness and operational effectiveness. Ensuring this smooth integration with the existing platforms and training personnel to operate the advanced system effectively will be crucial. Establishing a robust maintenance and support infrastructure is essential to ensure the turret's long-term reliability and performance. In our next story, we discuss the deployment of the SAMAR air defense system by the Indian Air Force in Ladakh. The Indian Air Force has recently deployed the surface-to-air missile for a short retaliation, that is SAMAR system in Ladakh near the line of actual control (LAC) with China. The SAMAR system is designed to counter low-flying aerial threats including UAVs, loitering munitions and attack helicopters with an interception range of up to 12 km and a maximum speed of Mark 2.5. The SAMAR system strengthens air defense capabilities in sensitive border regions, providing effective countermeasures against various aerial threats. The successful collaboration between public and private sectors demonstrates India's ability to develop advanced defense systems domestically. Ensuring smooth deployment and integration with existing air defense networks along with continuous training and maintenance will be essential for optimal performance. In our final segment, we discuss the indigenously developed parachutes ensuring the safe return of astronauts in India's Gaganyaan mission. Developed by Ordnance Equipment Factory, Hazratpur, the parachute system is critical for the safe return of the three-member crew in India's first human spaceflight. The system is designed to reduce velocity from freefall with pilot parachutes, triggering the deployment of main canopies, ensuring the comfortable descent speed of 10 to 12 meters per second. The parachute system ensures the safe return of astronauts boosting confidence in India's human spaceflight capabilities and demonstrating the reliability of indigenous technology. Building on this success for future human spaceflight missions and developing more advanced systems for long-term space exploration will be essential. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the India's latest defense and space development. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates on geopolitics and the latest defense news. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe. Jai Hind!